Welcome to Wargroove. On my How to Get All the Birds video, someone commented, well, how do you get all the fish? So I decided to make a guide about it. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to get every single gosh darn fish in this game. I even dug... Oh, you're going to love this. I even dug into the computer code for Wargroove to figure out exactly how it all works. All right, so the first thing we're going to want to do is make a map that will let Merciful fish infinitely. That will let you just keep using the fishing groove every single turn. This is very similar to what we did for the birds video. You want a map where you have every single kind of sea tile, including, this is very important, beach tiles, river tiles, reefs, and sea, and deep sea. You want every single kind of water tile that you can get. Um, then we're going to make sure that in map properties, this is a scenario map type. Okay, that's very important. Then we're going to go into the event editor and make an event. I like to call it Forever Groove. I want to have Forever Groove, but you can name it whatever you want. Just click New and make a new trigger. All right, now this trigger should be set to Repeat in the When category. Again, you can name it whatever you want. It should affect the current player who should be merciful, and the condition should be at the end of a unit's turn, and it should have two actions. One of them should be modify groove of any commander at any location, current player set to 100. This used to be 50 in a previous patch, now it's 100, so keep that in mind. And just mess with that number until it gives you tier one groove. And then, um, then the next action is set turn spent for, any commander, any location, current player, false. So you don't check this. And the idea is that it'll give you tier one groove and unend your turn so you can keep grooving forever. Uh, one more quick thing here. Make sure that in player properties, you set the commander to merciful. And just as a quality of life thing, click on this notebooky thing, click on merciful, and make sure the initial groove is at 100 so you don't have to move to trigger the groove to start with. Okay, now that all that's set up, um, I'm just going to enter the map. Now, uh, it, it's very important to note that there are conditions for catching each fish, and you can see all the fish in the codex. I'm going to go into the codex. It's under Mission, Codex, Catalog, Fish. And I'm going to tell you how to get each and every single one of these using... Let me put that on the screen once again. The amazing computer code that I downloaded... Um, this is actually the config from the game that I pulled up just to make absolutely sure I knew what I was talking about. All right, so the uh, the first fish you can get is the piano tuna, and it's actually important. Each row in the fish catalog is a different kind of way to catch the fish. The first row from piano tuna, uh, jerk fish on the right, and then ginger guppy in the middle. These are fish you can get no matter what. As you can see on the screen, there are no conditions in the configuration to catch these fish, meaning you can just automatically get them. Pretty much fishing, you'll, you'll get these automatically. It's not even worth trying to catch them. You'll catch them under every possible condition in the game. So don't worry about these first three fish. The next three fish in this next row, starting with the salty bass, I like to call them the terrain fish. Um, because, no, sorry, the salty bass is... Uh, yeah, terrain fish. Yep, 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 I was right. Why did I question myself? Um, you can only get in sea tiles. I think deep sea also counts, but just use a regular sea tile to get the salty bass. Though again, you don't have to try to get this fish. You'll automatically get it as we go for the harder ones. I'm just explaining what to do if for some reason you don't have it, but you'll, trust me, you'll get this one pretty quick. The pinch master is another one that you get from a special terrain tile. This one you'll catch on the beach, and again, don't try to catch it. You'll get it eventually from fishing on beaches throughout the rest of this guide. The fruit frog you will get in a river tile. All right, now we're going to get into the ones that are a little harder to catch. But th those first six fish I went over, trust me, you'll automatically get them while we're trying to get the rarer fish. All right, starting in row three with the lemon loach. All right, the lemon loach is special. You, it's uncommon, meaning you'll have to try a little harder to get it. It's a little more rare. And it's only available in the grass biome. Now, what counts as a grass biome? 
This is actually very interesting. I looked into the biome code and found out that actually a lot of biomes count as grass biomes. Flower, deep forest, and jungle all kind of count as grass biomes? No, that's a lie. Jungle doesn't count. Deep forest does. Flower does. Jungle does not. But, you know, we're gonna keep it simple. We're gonna keep it simple and just stick to the regular, regular uh, grass biome. So I'm gonna show you how to change the biome on your map, all right? So the way you do that is you go over here, all right, map properties, biome, and we're just gonna pick grass. Again, flower field will also work, but some of the jungles will, some won't. Just pick grass. Make your life easy and pick grass. Now we're gonna set the weather to rainy. I think windy also works, but we're gonna set it to rainy. And in theory, this should unlock all of the different grass fish. But I'm going to go uh, back into the fish decks. There we go, and you can see now our, our map is rainy and on the grass biome. So we're gonna head back into the fish decks and just talk about um, how each of the row three fish can be caught in the grass biome. Okay, starting with the lemon loach. The lemon loach, let me just find that on the config file because I, I, yeah, it's really long and I don't wanna put the whole thing on the screen. All right, so the lemon loach is uncommon, uh, meaning as you continue to fish in the grass biome, you'll probably get it eventually. Um, so we're not gonna focus we're not gonna focus on the lemon loach. We wanna be as efficient as possible. We're gonna start by looking for the storm jelly. The storm jelly um, needs rain and the grass biome in order to be caught, very important there. Uh, and uh, additionally, uh, the lime sole, uh, which is the final fish in this category, and the one that most people have had the most trouble finding, even though it's not supposed to be rare. I don't know if it's glitch in the game or something. Hopefully they'll fix that by the time you're watching this. Um, yeah. So it, it, as, as you, you, they don't need anything particular. You know, it's raining, you're in the grass biome. Just keep fishing everywhere until you find these three. I recommend fishing on all of the different terrain tiles, you know, just to get the first six fish. Um, but really, as long as it's raining and you're in the grass biome, you should be able to find these three fish. Uh, if the config file is to be believed, then it should be believed. So we're going to actually move on to the next row. And um, the next row require you to be in the desert biome. Now, uh, once again, we're going to go ahead and change the biome. All right, we're, we're going to go into map properties, change the biome to desert. Just desert. And we're going to change the weather to sandstorm. This is really important. Okay, and that will in turn unlock um, some of the fish that can only be caught in this magical land. All right, um, let me pull up the codex again, and we're gonna go to the desert sandstorm fish, okay? Fast forward to row four. All right, so row four is the desert fish, starting with the electric eel. Very nice. Nope, that's a lie. That's a lie. Sorry, row four is the ice fish. We're going to skip to row five. Row five is the desert fish. I'm sorry about that. The toy koi. Um, you're probably going to see like a million of these toy koi. Uh, the conditions for unlocking the toy koi are just that you're in the desert. You don't even need the sandstorm. Um, but then we have the uh, clockwork fish, which does require sandstorm and desert. And finally, the red flapper. Now, the red flapper is rare. You know, it only needs the desert. It doesn't need the sandstorm. You can theoretically turn the sandstorm off at the time of this video. But just, just fish everywhere and keep looking. You'll eventually find it. It is rare, so it's going to take a little bit longer to get a hold of that one. All right, we skipped row four, so I'm going to go back to row four for a second there, the ice fish. Uh, but before we do, let me show you just real quick how to change the biome to ice and snow. So once again, we're going to go into the map editor. You kind of get the gist at this point. Now, Arctic does not count. This is important. Arctic does not count. These are not technically ice biomes. I, I looked in, the, co I looked in the, the code for the game, and I can tell you for a fact these are not ice biomes. Why? I don't know. You actually have to pick the one that says ice. Super important. All right, then we're going to change the weather to snow. All right, and now we're going to go into the game. Remember that, okay? Don't, that you'll drive yourself crazy looking for these fish in the Arctic biome. Don't do that. All right, so we're gonna go to row four, the ice fish. All right, starting with the electric eel. So 
The electric eel um, just needs uh, ice. That's pretty much it. It's uncommon. The dreadfish, wahaha, needs ice and snow, but it's also uncommon if you have both going at once. Um, and finally, the snuffish is rare. That's going to take you a little while. Um, just, you know, fish everywhere. Keep fishing until you get it. All right. Now, we've covered all of the different uh, biome and weather fish. Let's talk about the boot. You're going to get the boot. The, the, the bottom row, the bottom three in the bottom row, it's just the, the special stuff category, but the boot is free. The boot, just like the first row, you'll get whenever. It's super common in any terrain, in any biome. You will catch boots. Don't worry about it. Don't look for it. You'll have one by the time you're watching this in the video. The chucklefish is rare, but can exist in rain, snow, or sandstorm in any biome. So, um, you'll probably have caught the chucklefish while you were looking for the weather fish, um, in the various biomes. And finally, the starfish, um, you will automa- you will automatically catch once you have every single other fish, and then use the fishing groove again. Um, if you don't, just keep fishing once you have every single other fish, and you will get the starfish. If you're not getting it, go back and make sure you've unlocked every single other fish. And, uh, that's it! That's it for this video. I hope this helped you get all of the fish. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. If something changed in a future patch, let me know. I downloaded the game code just to make sure we could get you all the fish, so I hope this helped. That's all for now, and welcome to Wargroove.